Hi there, Paul here from the House of the Outsiders and thank you for dropping by. Yes, it's been a I've been a hot minute since I was last here. I know it's taken me a while to get around to doing another video for you, but there's more than just one page in this video. It's a little bit longer, about 16 minutes. Um, <laughs> don't feel obliged to watch all of it. <laughs> but uh, what I've got is uh, a recording of one whole page I've done um, in my collage journal. But I also, uh, I'm finishing at the end, sort of like stay, stay with it, because at the end I'm sort of like finishing off a page that I also did when I was over at a friend's where I just collaged and stuck things in, but I hadn't finished it off. So I thought, uh, yeah, that I'd finish that off on camera um, and show you the resulting page. So um, here we go. I've started by grabbing a bunch of magazines and uh, just cutting out bits that I think will go together. I, I tore out about five, six, seven, eight pages, laid them out in front of me, and then start piecing them out. It doesn't mean I'll only stick to those pages, because as you'll see, what I've done is uh, thought I need some extra pics, so I'll go back to magazines, pull out more images, um, so that I can make a fully fledged character. In this case, I didn't have any legs for it, because I decided to cut the legs off the pink shirted guy and I didn't have anything sort of like in the original cuttings that would would that would suit <laughs> gosh you can tell I haven't done this for a while <laughs> I'm sort of like rambling away also I'm sort of like coming off of a high before doing this I have treated myself this afternoon because it's been a busy old week to the latest Queen film. It's a documentary because um, there's two things I've seen. There's a, um, a film of a play that was done in London, which is absolutely brilliant. But there was also, I think it was released, I don't know, it was early this year or last year, but a film is just called McQueen and it's a documentary on Alexander, uh, Lee Alexander McQueen. And um, a couple of years ago, I think it was, I went to see the exhibition of his at the V&A in London, and it is astonishing. And I absolutely adore the guy. So it's been a real treat to watch the documentary. So I'm coming off a bit of a high from that. <laughs> I'm a bit hyped because I've just been watching. I'm feeling ultra inspired. And rather than just like doing a <laughs> doing a sort of like a voiceover, I should be pulling out a journal and sort of like just putting it all down on the page. Anyway. On the screen, you can see that sort of like I have taken a pre-painted page in my collage journal, and to give it some extra texture, I've done a kind of a spattering. I've taken some diluted white gesso and uh, a, an old kind of paintbrush with very thick bristles, and I just like splattered it over it because I know I'm going to be putting journaling on the top, so I don't need the background to be too decorative. Uh, I just want. Uh, something there just to give it a little bit of extra pizzazz and not just a flat colour. But also, you know me, I don't like it to look too... I, I like you to be able to look at that block of colour and see a block of colour, even if it's got little bits of interest in it. So, now that I've got my... I mean, I decided on my collage, got the figure, but then I've laid it on the uh, A4 page just to see whether it will fit because I realise with those legs it's very long um, and might not fit on so um, that's been deciding what to do just to sort of like get everything to work and also the figure with um, the torso I wanted to cut out. I left in the white bits between the arms. I thought I'm not going to fussy cut those out if I ain't going to use it. <laughs> so I've waited until the last minute where I think, yes, I'm going to use it, and then I fussy cut it out so that you could, you know, see the background um, and make it look more dimensional. So yes, I have decided on my figure now and its size, and now I'm gluing it all down with me handy little uh, glue stick, and that should make it ready for oh the favorite bit doing all the doodling and <laughs> and sort of like adding the journaling of things the thing is i have to admit when i look at it at this stage i think how the hell do i actually oh, excuse me i shouldn't say that how on earth do i <laughs> add journaling to the page sort of like it's i've not left like a clean block um 
but I manage it. <laughs> I know it doesn't have to look perfect. Um, again, because there isn't an awful lot of space in which to add journaling, I didn't want to sort of like take what I had left um, and use it up on a too complicated a border. Not that any of the borders I have created for this collage journal have been, because if you followed why I started this journal, um, Please forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but for anybody who's just like just watching this one video, this collage journal is basically a way for me to create figures that I could perhaps convert into drawings. It's, it's a way of rather than going off my usual style, it's, it's making me think outside the box and giving me unusual ideas. So the crucial part of it is not the actual journaling side, it's the image. But you know, it'll look a little boring if I just collage an image and stuck it on a page. So I um doing a little bit of journaling just to make them look like a finished piece. So uh, a nice simple border. <laughs> In this case I just took some yellow and um, dotted it around the edges. And now for the fun part of just taking a black mark, my paint pen, the Posca in this case, and uh, first of all outlining the drawing before I sort of like decide what details on the inner bit that I want to sort of like fill in. Admittedly, when I look at the collage, because the reason I'm, I'm, when I make the collage up and put it, piece it together just for the magazines, I mean, I like it as it is. It's, it's a little bit of a leap of faith that when I start drawing over it, that I'm not going to ruin it or make the piece, and I don't want to say less than it should be, but in, you know, I mean, I, I already think it looks good when I've collaged it. Um, I tend to think it doesn't need anything extra but then I add the doodles and suddenly I can see in front of me or it's sort of like that yeah it's been improved it's been altered and um, something's there that wasn't before so yeah it's a bit of a leap of faith sort of like adding as I say the doodles I keep saying doodles a lot today. Hmm. <laughs> Bear with me. I know I am rambling. Uh, it's been a long day and I'm tired. Not an excuse. <laughs> but also what I'm trying to do with the doodles is not to, or with the way I fill my kind of doodles in, I know I'm having it consciously in my mind that I don't want to overcomplicate things by doing overcomplicated patterns. I want to try and experiment as I go along in the next few days, weeks, months with the simpler types, just doing um, lines and circles and seeing how much variation I can get just by these kind of scribbles. You know, I don't have to do anything that's like, um, I mean, I love doing them, but those kind of complicated zentangles that are, I mean I, I use a lot of those kind of zentangle kind of um, patterns to sort of like make borders with but for filling in within the collages for instance a lot of that is just drawing lines and then filling those lines in with lines and circles and just with the rest of it filling it in with circles so that's why the hat the sleeves are kind of doodled in just uh, kind of stripes and lines and the um, shirt has had some circle doodled over it. Um, a recent thing I've done is to ground an image by adding a little bit of shadow at the bottom just to make it look like the figure is not floating in the air but standing on something. And here we go, I'm starting off the, <laughs> the, the actual journaling. Um, I've done it in pencil to begin with, just in case I don't get it completely right to the placing of it. I mean, I, I sit and stare at the spaces and think about where the words are going to go first, I, even before I do it in pencil. Then I do it in pencil, then I start inking over with the paint pen. And I am a big time window licker would make a lot of sense if you speak French. <laughs> window licking is the English interpretation of um, the French for window shopping. I can't remember what, what the French for window shopping is, 
but when you translate it, it turns into window liquor. And again, I got this from a podcast I was listening to, and the person was explaining all this and saying that, yep, they are big time window liquor. My, you know, me, got my notebook out, recorded that, thought, yep, that'll make a good page. <laughs> Hence that. So, yes, I have taken my paint pen, drawn nice, simple um, skeleton of the... Uh, letters to uh, for the journaling and as you know once I've done that I take um, I, I start adding all the oh what do you call them the feet and the serifs how is it the serifs you wouldn't think I did design would you <laughs> brain's going so bad but yes I had all the feet all the serifs all the uh, little extras just to thicken some of the letters up and make it look nice and whimsical and weird so that's the last little bit I'm filling in. And I'm not sure how much else is going to be added to this. I get a feeling that we haven't seen it, but those dots in the uh, shirt, I get a feeling when I, when, I, when I take a look back, once I've finished adding text to the page, I think I've looked at it and thought, I think it needs just a little bit more. So, um, I will take a pen, yes I have, I've taken my pink pen, it's a very faint pink pen, in fact on this video you can't really see the difference it makes, but I started adding one pink dot in the middle of each circle, and that I think satisfied me, <laughs> I think when I sort of like um, took a step back, looked at it and thought, yeah, don't really want to add any more after I've you know, added that little pop of colour with the pink. So I'm hoping I've sort of like finished now. And there we go. So we're going to come up to some close-ups. Oh no, I'm adding a bit of detail to that. That's right. I thought, no, I don't like those lines. I want them solid because um, although it has contrast with the angle I've got this camera about, when I was looking at the page in real life, you really couldn't see the contrast between the black and the white. So I've, I've increased that by sort of like just filling in those lines. And that's that for this page. There is... As you can see, the close-up, but don't leave me. This is where I usually say goodbye, but we're going to go magically into the next page. And here we go, whipping through my book, trying to find it. <laughs> now, this is where I um, spent a day with a crafting friend of mine. She knows who she is if she's watching this. <laughs> and um, she had to disappear for an hour, and I knew this, so I brought um, my journal and I'm th not sure if I brought some magazines, I think I did bring some magazines um, or used her, I can't remember, or a combination of the both. But basically I knew that what I could do was bring my journal, bring some magazines and just fill the time just doing, as you saw earlier on, just tearing out images, finding a way to put them together. Um, I mean, I've used a lot of images from, I think the magazine is Old Decoration, which is a lot of furniture pieces, hence why you've got things that are like taps and basins as the body. Um, and the pencil, I think, came from um, a, an article on art. And there's, uh, I, th I think the hair, that blue wavy hair also comes from, I think it's a, I think that's a rug. So a lot of it has come from, uh, as I say, uh, more of a, an interior design magazine. Uh, the face itself is um, uh, an overhead shot of a paint tin, or two paint tins. I think there was green paint and some pink paint, and I kind of just cut them up and then... Uh, oh, and of course there's a chair, you can see the, the back of a chair, sort of like under the chin, sort of like to make the body for the dress. So, yes, piece that all together to make myself a little oddity of the person, and um, that was all I had time to do, because my friend came back. So this has been sitting in my book, waiting for me to... Uh, pick it up again and finish it off. Good thing about waiting um, to do after after gluing the collage in, because I'm a little bit patient because I tend to do it all in one go, is that sometimes the glue isn't completely set by the time I start painting over with a pen and the pen doesn't like to paint over wet glue. So this was perfect, it meant I had absolutely no problems with my black pen this time. I could just keep adding as many doodles as I wanted. And as you can see, I have stuck to, especially on those arms, stuck to looking at what I can do with just lines and dots and circles to, to use decoration. The only little bit of difference is around the skirt area that I've created. I've got some zigzag designs, but again, try to keep things simple. Um, because as I said, this is a little bit of a 
um, exactly mantra, but a little, little bit of test for myself that I want to uh, see what I can do with simple doodles. Now, I've not added a board to this because I really did think I haven't got room. <laughs> if I do start adding a board, I'm going to have no room for lettering. Again, took this from a podcast, this quote. Um, uh, one of the guests was a comedian and they were talking about being funny and <laughs> she left a pause between stuff and saying, I like to be funny, pause and bitter. So I thought, yeah, that'll do. I like to be funny and bitter. I think that sounds me up. <laughs> that sums me up. Um, so again, took a look at where I thought the letters would go, got my pencil out, filled it in, and then took the brave step of inking it all in. <laughs> and there we go, the final image. Now we're coming up to some close-ups, so we're coming to the end. Can't believe I talked for 15 minutes or so. Thank you for putting up with me if you've listened to the whole ramblings, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>